Their names known to so many now, Laura and Ashley. They disappeared from the Craig County community of Welch almost 19 years ago. It's a story we've closely followed for you for years. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Shay Rossi. Now we've learned a six-part docu-series is planned about Laura Bible and Ashley Freeman, and shooting for that series will start next week. Today, Fox 23's Tiffany Allen spent the day with Laura's family in Miami. She's live with what they hope this series will achieve. Tiffany. Clay and Shay, this is the missing poster for Laura and Ashley that was printed right after they disappeared, and they still haven't been found. Laura's mom says she hopes this docu-series will shed new perspective on the case and lead to the girls. Laura Bible, a happy baby and child. Today, her mom, Laureen, shared these pictures and many other things we've never seen before. Laura's kindergarten report card and her book of math with division and multiplication tables. She had written her name on the front in cursive. And I had raised her to be very outspoken, speak up for yourself, you know, not be timid, you know. You, you can be anything, anyone you wanted. But Laura is forever stuck at 16 years old. It'll be 19 years later. How, how is it 19 years before you know anything? Laureen still has Laura's cheerleading uniform. She loved to cheer and the shirt for her last school picture. Tragically, that picture would be used for her missing poster. But Laureen is grateful for the continued support of so many who want to help her find answers. It's because people say, how did this happen? You know, why wasn't this done? You know, or who was in charge to make sure that didn't happen? Four lives taken that day in December. Laura was spending the night with her best friend, Ashley Freeman. Ashley's parents, Kathy and Danny, found murdered. Investigators say the girls were kidnapped, tortured for days, then killed. This is one of the last pictures of Laura, dated December the 11th, 1999. A trip to the Tulsa ice skating rink for a friend's birthday. Laura had never been on ice before that day. And for Christmas this year, she got a pair of ice skates. Just four days after that Christmas, she was gone. You just keep the word out and hope that the one person will be out there that'll say, okay, today's the day. I'm tired of dealing, you know, this burden on me. Here is what I know. And tomorrow night on Fox 23 News, I'll share what I've learned about some new developments in the case and some new locations where they will search for Laura and Ashley, their family desperately praying that they will lead to the girls. Reporting live in Miami, covering news that matters, I'm Tiffany Allen East, Fox 23 News. All right, Tiffany, we know, of course, this has been such a difficult time for family and so many people in the community that have been following this.